Welcome everyone, today we are going to be testing out the future of gaming. In this box right here I have Google Stadia and we are going to be testing out gaming with Stadia on three different devices. Right here on my PC, on a TV in my house and also on a mobile device and seeing just how well Google Stadia works across all of the different screens. I've been asked to test this out by Google themselves so a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video, sending me the Google Stadia and also the Pixel 4 phone which we'll be using for the mobile section of this video. Video. But just in case you don't know what Google Stadia is, let me break it down and explain to you guys why this is the future of gaming. Inside the Google Stadia box, you'll find the Google Stadia controller. Now, the big difference between Google Stadia and other consoles is the fact that you just need a controller and all of the hardware and processing is done by Google themselves on their side. So rather than having a console that would ultimately get slower and slower as technology progresses, Google themselves can actually upgrade their own hardware and technology, meaning that each time you pick up this controller and turn it on and start playing games that are streamed to you, the games will only be running better and better and better. The reason there's no console and just a controller is because all of the hardware and all of the processing to play the games in super good quality is done by Google themselves and essentially streamed to your screen and then you play through your controller. It's all extremely smart. To actually go ahead and play games you need to have a few things. First of all a Wi-Fi connection which actually your controller connects to and then also the screen that you're on. If you're on a TV it will use a Chromecast Ultra as its source. If you're on your mobile device it will just connect to the controller and your Wi-Fi port and if you're on your PC, you actually just go onto a browser and then go onto the Google Stadia store, which sees an ever increasing library of games, a lot of them discounted, some of them even given to you for free for a limited amount of time. So it's worth getting on and picking up the free ones whilst you can. Got myself Farming Simulator, Tomb Raider, and I've got four free games for absolutely nothing, which is awesome. With the ability to play all the way up to 4K gaming, it is quite impressive, and the internet speeds that you actually need to do so are not that high. I will be testing this on speeds around about 200 megabytes up and down so our internet is extremely good so we should be getting the very best connection and the very best quality when it comes to gameplay across all of our devices. Now as you can see I've got a very fancy blue controller this is a founders edition controller which is awesome you guys can actually pick up the premiere edition which is going to include a white controller a Chromecast Ultra and also three months of Stadia Pro included in that bundle if you want to check that out I'll leave a link down below you can always pick one up as a Christmas present for someone else or you could treat yourself to one as well. But I've got a few big questions. Number one, what is the latency like using a controller when it's basically connecting to a service which is very, very far away? What will the delay be like? And also how easy is it to switch between the different screens and how quickly can it all boot up and get ready to play? So guys, the first test is going to be on my PC. I've simply gone onto the Google Stadia site, logged into my account, synced up my controller so everything is connected on the same Wi-Fi network and signed into my account. But then go across to home and we're going to test this out on Destiny 2 because it's a shooting game. It needs quick response. It's going to need my controller to respond really quickly. And we're going to see how easy it is to jump straight into the action. So my controller plugged in. I'm going to click play and it is literally booting up Destiny for me onto my PC. So we've entered the world of Destiny. The question is how are my guns going to feel? How is the game going to feel? There's loads of other players here instantly within our world, which is awesome. Let's take some of these guys out. See ya. So far it's feeling super smooth and responsive, which is what you want. It's something that's so important for a shooting game. Hey, see you later, big giant eyeball. I'll be taking that loot. Now whilst you're playing, go ahead and hit the Stadia button, go across to connection. It tells me that my connection is good, I'm playing in the best visual quality possible, so it's going well on PC. One of the most basic tests you can do is just press the jump button, and as you can see, it is as responsive as you can hope for and that is the biggest thing for me so much is relying on this controller making sure that everything is responsive it's definitely very good on pc i'd say one out of three so far big thumbs up let's have a little bit of supercharge action two three yeah all my shots hit that's always a good sign 
To exit, all we'll do is hold down the stadia button, go down, exit the game. We're gonna try the TV next and we're gonna finish it on our phone and see how well it works on a small device like this. Now for the fun bit, because I have not tried this before. We're gonna stream it to the TV. Connected is the Chromecast Ultra, which links to the TV via HDMI. With the Chromecast, your Stadia controller, and then your mobile device all connected to the same Wi-Fi network. It will then recognize your Chromecast device and you simply click play on your phone. Oh, something's happening. That's a good sign. That's the Stadia logo. Our TV isn't normally on the floor, by the way, we're changing the house a little bit. Oh, that's Destiny. So the game's working. The controller's working. We're signing in. And if we go to connection, 4K HDR, there we go. I'm impressed. Well, the game looks great. It's booted up super quickly. We're gonna test out how it feels to play. Now, I can't lie compared to having just played on PC. Holy cow, that guy's huge! Just destroyed me. But definitely is a little bit more input delay playing like this. The controller isn't directly connected to anything, whereas there was a wide connection to the PC when we were playing the first time. We go ahead and do the jump test. Maybe you can see for yourself there what the input delay is like. I'd say so far PC is winning. If you weren't playing an FPS shooting game, the slight delay wouldn't matter as much. But in literally a matter of the time it took for me to walk upstairs where my PC is, down to this room where the TV is, we are now playing on the exact same account with everything set up, literally cross-playing perfectly. So the third and final test, and this is what I'm most interested about, is gonna be on our mobile device. So this test is gonna be done on the brand new Google Pixel. Thank you to Google for sending me this as well. We've got the Stadia app downloaded. All right, I'm gonna plug in the controller. Resume game. I'm exactly where I was when I left it downstairs. Whoa, this is crazy. I've never done this before. It looks phenomenal. It's sending a super high quality signal game straight to the screen of this phone. This feels just as good as on PC. This is nuts. you could go on holiday and as long as you've got a stable Wi-Fi connection and you've brought your Google Stadia phone, you could play any game on their library on your phone as if you're sat at home. Or bring your Chromecast and plug it into any screen that's got a HDMI port and continue playing your favorite games. That That's nuts. Having now tested all three, they all run pretty damn well. I think I'm most impressed by how good it plays on a mobile device. And it is of course then not limited by your own hardware. I think it's honestly really, really impressive. And whatever game is available on this thing right here, Google Stadia, you you can literally take anywhere in the world as long as you've got a solid Wi-Fi connection. I'd say all three definitely get a thumbs up from me. Let me know what you guys think. Now that you've seen it in action, what do you think? Has it impressed you? Thanks again to Google Stadia for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you want to pick it up, do check out the link in the description to check out the full Google Stadia Premiere Edition with everything you need to get up and going and play. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a load of fun, and I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. Goodbye.